Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm your host, Ariel Teppert. This is a final reminder that anyone who signed up for Capstone next year must submit their application to Mrs. Logan in S110 by the end of the day. Applications are available in the guidance office and outside Mrs. Logan's room. Review your email from Mrs. Logan for details or reach out with any questions. Anyone who has not applied by today cannot be considered for the class. Bracelets will be sold in the comments today to contribute towards humanitarian relief in Ukraine for $3 each. Donations such as clothes, blankets, diapers, non-perishable food, and sanitary products will be collected as well. All proceeds and donations will be going to the Rankin Croatian Club. Attention all juniors. Timeless Studios will once again visit the school to distribute information about senior photos and scheduled times to have your picture taken for the 2023 yearbook. Timeless Studios is our contracted photographer and all yearbook photos need to be taken by them. There is no charge for these settings. Please stop by the Commons area on Thursday, April 7th during Lunch and Learn to get more information. We go to Jaden Elisi for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, it's with a high of 42 and a low of 26 with rain. Tomorrow, we'll see a slight spike in temperatures with a high of 54 and a low of 38, along with partly cloudy skies. On Sunday, it's with a high of 48 and a low of 31 with more rain. That's the three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Jaden. The Interact Club will be hosting the annual Reverse Rolls basketball game between Greater Latrobe and Ligonier Valley on April 1st at 6 o'clock p.m. This event serves as a fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and all members of the community are invited to attend or participate. Food and drinks will be available. This is a fun event for everyone involved and provides a great way to give back to the community. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's McKenna Yossi with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Friday, April 1st, and cook it up on the main line, we have Fiesta chicken quesadilla with shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, sour cream, tortilla chips with cheese sauce, and roasted ranch chip peas. Sandwich options are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patties. Pizza options are pepperoni and plain pizzas with matched cheese sticks. And grab McGarber, go bar, there's fresh salad and deli hoagies and ranch chickpeas. The super day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, McKenna. We will be back after this message. Prom tickets will be sold on My School Dance now through Friday, April 8th. If you purchase your tickets and complete all required forms correctly by the end of the school day on April 1st, your name will be entered for a chance to receive a reimbursement on yours and your date's tickets, which is a $130 value. Tickets will not be sold after April 8th, so please don't wait until the last minute to complete the ticket buying process. We now go to Ramaya Henderson for the Wildcat Sports Report. Thanks, Ariel. Tomorrow, the boys' varsity volleyball team has a tournament against Derry at Derry High School at 8 a.m. The boys' JV baseball team will also be at Derry for a game at 12. Lastly, the girls' softball team has a home game here on Graham Sabota at 7, with JV playing before at 5.30. With cheer trials being this week, reporter Emma Santora spoke to some of the girls about their cheer experience. Hi, I'm Emma Santora here with Adina Prue and Alexis Snow from the cheerleading team. Girls, wh what are your hopes and dreams for the future? So I plan to obtain my doctorate in pharmacy and continue cheering at the collegiate level at St. Vincent College this fall. Um, since I'll only be a senior next year, I hope to make the cheer squad again and then go to college somewhere and either dance or cheer. What is your favorite memory with the team throughout high school? So there's definitely been a lot of memories throughout my high school career that I'll cherish forever, but my favorite was getting to meet all the girls and cheer with them throughout the years. I'd say probably the Christmas game this year, um, the energy from everybody, the crowd, um, just the squad in general was just like a great time. What are some team bonding experiences you and the team have shared? So every year we always have different team bonding activities. So this year we had a pool party, we had team bonding at our coach's farm and we got to hang out with the cows. But honestly, the bus rides, cheer camp, practices, games, we all share bonding experiences there. I'd go with cheer camp. Um, it's a like six hour long day for I think like three days. And it's 
it can be rocky, but I think that's really when our team gets really close. So it's Thank you, girls. And if you want to see more of this exclusive footage, you can head over to the Wildcat Network on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks, Emma. We go to Ben Hamity for the National Sports. Thanks, Ramaya. Now here's your National Sports Report for the day. In the NHL, there are an array of games around the league as there will be a cross-city rivalry between the Rangers and Islanders at 6 p.m. Over to the NBA, there will be 10 games on the court as the Clippers head to Milwaukee to play the Bucks at 8 p.m. in Pfizer form. Taking a look over the weekend, it will be an action-packed one. On Saturday, the evening will start out with some hockey as your Pittsburgh Penguins face off against the Avalanche, who are the best team in the NHL points-wise. At 6.09 p.m., the men's basketball Final Four begins on Saturday as the number two Villanova play the number one seeded Kansas in what should be an intense matchup between two historic basketball schools. Then at 8.49 p.m., the number eight UNC plays number two Duke for Coach K Coach K's last run in which is possibly the most anticipated matchup as these North Carolina schools have been rivals for years. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Ben. Paige Watson is an inspiring student who doesn't let anything hold her back. Here is reporter Shay Obardo with today's Student Spotlight. Paige Watson is an active student at Greater Lake Trib who is involved in student council, varsity volleyball, and club volleyball. Behind the scenes, she's dealt with type 1 diabetes and celiac for her entire life. Yeah, so I was diagnosed when I was around one year old, and then I was diagnosed with celiac around two. And honestly, at first, it wasn't that hard to manage it because I wasn't taking care of myself. It was more so my mom or my dad. Um, but as I've gotten older, it's been a bit of a challenge having to uh, juggle both. Um, but to be completely honest with you, it hasn't really affected my life completely. Paige faces the challenges of both her illnesses every day, but that doesn't stop her looking at the positive side of things. Paige spent some of her summers at a diabetes camp where she made lots of friends like her. She is a role model and willing to teach others about her experiences. So something I've kind of learned along the way is that having diabetes or having kind of any kind of illness doesn't set you apart from other people. It doesn't make you any different. It doesn't really change you. It's just like something, it's another challenge you have to face throughout your life. And I think that having diabetes just makes me stronger. And I want everybody to know and people with diabetes to understand that you're no different than anybody else. It's just something that you, you have and you have to deal with. Paige loves to partake in school activities and spending time with her friends and loved ones. She sees the value in keeping busy and active in her community. Along the way, she's learned the skills to manage her health challenges. So there really are no positive outcomes in having a disease, but if I had to say, I think it would be the amount of maturity I have in being able to um, take care of myself. When I leave for college in a year or two, I'm gonna be able to manage this by myself. I'm gonna be able to take care of myself because it's something I've been doing my whole life. And I, and I have also come out of this with a lot of friends. Paige plans to attend college and study political science. She is a great example of not letting anything prevent you from doing what you love. Now here is Emily Sweeney with Wildcat World News. Thanks, Ariel. Today in Wildcat World News, the Ukrainian Prime Minister said that he was working with the International Committee of the Red Cross upon the return of Ukrainians from Russia who have been, quote, abducted or forcibly relocated. Ukraine has accused Russia of forcibly deporting thousands of Ukrainian civilians. Also, Israeli forces at killed at least two Palestinians in clashes that erupted during a raid in the West Bank. In a separate incident, a Palestinian stabbed an Israeli bus passenger near a Jewish settlement in the same area. This Palestinian was shot and killed by another passenger after the stabbing, and the Israeli that was shot suffered moderate wounds, as reported by the National Ambulance Service. That's all for World News. Back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe.